Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hi, my name is Kate. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video is a bit of a different one because I've got a couple of different things I want to show you. First one being a pack with me for Paris, which I was supposed to film before going to Paris in real time, but I ended up running out of time. So I figured I'd just show you what I took with me, the outfits I took and the little bits and bobs I have in my carry-on. And then I've also got a really big Zara order. There's two boxes here with me that I actually ordered before heading to Paris and these were gonna be my Paris outfits but it actually didn't arrive in time. So I ended up just putting together some outfits that I already owned and I cannot remember for the life of me what are in these boxes. I think I ordered this at around midnight in a bit of a panic before heading to Paris. So um, it's a bit of a surprise unboxing really. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of it because I did get this for the intention of wearing in Paris. But do you know what? We'll open it together, try it on and see what it's like. Okay. Is there anything better than a fresh Zara order? I love how they package everything so sustainably as well. Like there's no plastic. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I remember what I ordered now. I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous jacket and I actually already have this in two other colours. I've got this in black and white and I'm just so obsessed. So I did pick it up. Why did I pick up two? We've got two in here. Oh, that was a mistake. If I come up close, you can see it's a green and red, which just feels so seasonal, perfect for autumn, but also perfect for going towards like the Christmas period. And oh, this is just stunning. I ordered this one in large. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this actually. I know I said I probably wouldn't, but I will keep this one because I just think it's so gorgeous. Okay, so now I've tried this on. I actually don't love it as much as I thought I would. Even though I do really like it and I love the two other ones I have, there's something about this one that feels a tiny bit um like shabby almost i don't know if it's just on me or what it is but um it might be the color the fact that i'm normally very monochrome but yeah i actually think i will take this one back now i've tried it on right what do we have next in the mystery zara box okay we have a jumper that is actually pretty much identical to the one i'm wearing right now so this probably will go back the one I'm wearing now, by the way, is from Chloe Lloyd, Boys Collection with Pretty Lavish, but this is actually sold out, so I will link this one anyway. Um, but it's this gorgeous kind of like chenille fabric, really simple, really soft. It's just like a nice, easy crew neck. That's just good to have in your wardrobe, like a nice kind of layering piece in the winter. I also picked this one up in a size large, and it was... This was $27.99. Okay, next up we have another piece that I will probably keep, which is this black satin shirt if you follow me on instagram you would have seen i went out for dinner wearing a shirt just like this but in like the emerald green color and i just think it looks so chic and expensive so i did also pick it up in black and it's a good wardrobe staple to have so don't feel bad about keeping this at all and i got this one in an extra small and it was 25.99 okay next up we have Okay, so these are some black wide leg trousers. Okay, now I believe these are the Francesca or like the Fran, Fran something, that's the name of them. And um, I have these in burgundy and the fit is just so nice. Um, but weirdly, these do not have a label and the flies are undone, which kind of makes me feel like they have been worn. So I might actually return these and exchange them for like a new pair. Am I gonna keep these? Yes, I am. I think I'm going to end up keeping this whole Zara order, which is really annoying because I wasn't planning on it. But they're a wardrobe staple, so it's not like they're going to be a one wear kind of thing. Um, I think I also picked them up in camel. Yeah, I did. Yeah, there you go. You can see these a bit better in the lighter colour. These would actually look really beautiful with that white knit or basically what I'm wearing now, just tucked in with a belt. I think that'd look super chic. Um, gonna keep these as well just doing a quick cutaway on the trousers to explain the fit um, i forgot to mention they come up very large a lot of room around the waist and they're also long and i'm normally like a size six height i'm five foot four so i'm gonna keep them because i just think they look really expensive they're just a very easy piece to have in your wardrobe i will be getting these tailored and i obviously won't be wearing these with slippers but um you get the gist and then oh my god i wish i had this in paris oh this is so stunning so it's this like asymmetric dress. You have the one shoulder. It's got a bit of a pad as well just to really elevate it. And then you just have this like really beautiful gold piping going round. This feels like such a Christmassy dress actually. Again, this smells like it's been worn, which really does put me off. 
feel like that's the thing with Zara. Sometimes people just wear it and then take it back. But it smells like somebody's perfume, which isn't ideal. So I probably will take this back. I might repurchase it at a later date for like any Christmas parties and things like that because I do think it is so stunning it does look quite big as well but i will try it on i'll put up a try on clip here so you guys can see this is in a size extra small and this was 49.99 so i've just tried on this dress and the fit is actually really nice i think it could be a bit tighter um and fit to the body a bit more but the fabric is fairly stiff do you think it looks really gorgeous so good for like occasion wear christmas parties new year's eve parties um it is just beautiful the only thing i will say is the quality isn't great as you can see there's like threads falling out more threads kind of coming out here i don't know if it will come up on camera that much but yeah i do feel like the quality could be a little bit better unless it's just like this because it's been worn already okay we are one box down one to go i feel like this actually might just be some shoes it is oh my god i forgot i ordered these okay so i ordered these stunning stunning cream boots I will return these though because I have actually just ordered the mango ones, which I do think are a bit nicer. Um, they're both £150. The mango ones have a bit of like a wooden effect to the heel, which I just think makes it look that little bit more expensive. And you know, if you're paying £150 for a pair of boots, you definitely want it to look expensive. Not that these ones don't, because they do. But I just feel like the mango ones have that extra little something. So yeah, I will return these, but they are gorgeous nonetheless. So that is actually everything I've got to show you guys from Zara. I thought the order was a lot bigger. So I haven't done too much damage. And I can't believe I said at the start I'm not keeping any of it. And I'm literally keeping everything but three items it is. Yeah. Hello guys. So we're in a change of scenery, change of clothes, change of day. I was filming this section of the video yesterday afternoon at around like three o'clock. And it just got so dark at half three. So I just thought, I'm gonna film this the next day when it's a bit brighter. And I swear this happens every year. The clocks go back and it gets dark so early, but every single year I'm always so shocked about it. So yeah, anyway, I'm sat in my room now. Let's do the pack with me section of this video. a weekend trip i took hand luggage this is my cabin bag this gorgeous one from louis vuitton that i am just in love with and then i also took my long champ um i can't remember the name of this bag but this bag comes with me everywhere it's one of those mary poppins bags and it counts as a handbag so you can have this and this and that ends up being quite a lot of stuff and then in the long champ i carry my handbag so i'll have my chanel bag going through the airport and obviously you're only allowed two on the flight so then i'll pop this into the long shop and in here I just keep like all my bits and bobs. So things like my card holder, my passport, um, my sunnies. These are a pair from Captain and Son. They look very Celine inspired and I just, I love these. These are the sunnies I took on the trip. Not that it was at all sunny, it was actually raining the entire time. And then I've also got my mask here as well. This is a nice silk one, which I got from Amazon, I believe. And I know this is really extra, but I also have a fourth bag. This one is in a Pauline Paris uh, dust bag, but it's actually my beige Chanel. And I definitely didn't need it, but it just went so well with one of the outfits. So I really wanted to take it. I prefer to keep this like closer to me in my long shot bag, just in case, and I keep a bit more of an eye on it. Um, and then I also stuff this with cloves. So as you can see, I think I've got a pair of trousers in there and it just helps to keep the shape of the Chanel and it, and it stops it from like getting creased and damaged. And it's also just a good way to maximize space. And then the final thing in my long shot bag are my liquid toiletries. So I bought this case off Amazon and it's really good because 95% of the time they allow you to use this instead of one of the clear plastic bags that they provide. And I just think it's such a faff having to take everything out of your makeup bag, then put it into the bags, then go through security and then put it back into your bag. So this is a really nice option just to keep things a bit more organized and stop like the faffing basically. Sometimes they don't accept it, but like most of the time they do. And then in here we have my deodorant. It's the mini size, a mini Moroccan oil dry shampoo, my Elemis Day Cream, my SPF. And I'm at home I have quite an extensive skincare routine but when I travel I keep it really simple just to cleanser moisturizer and of course SPF in the day as well and then other than that I just have any of my liquid makeup YSL Touche Club primer my bare minerals concealer 
Marc Jacobs mascara. I have these really handy travel size perfumes from Penhaligon. The one I took on this trip was the Duchess Rose, which is such a beautiful smell. Another thing you can do as well is get one of those mini perfume dispensers and you pop your current perfume in there and it just means you don't have to take the entire bottle away with you because obviously that does take up quite a bit of space. And then I have my larger makeup bag here with all of the dry things, so like my brushes, my powders, this gorgeous hourglass palette, which is great for traveling as you have the blusher, the bronzer, the setting powder. And I also use the bronzer as an eyeshadow as well. And it also has a huge mirror, which is so handy because I don't know what it is about hotel rooms, but the lighting always makes it so hard to do your makeup. So I always end up trying to move the mirror around or just, yeah, using like a small mirror. I have a variety of different brushes. My Benefit Browsing's palette. This is also good for doubling up as an eyeliner. My Bare Minerals Powered Foundation. This is a good way of avoiding taking up too much space in your liquid section. And then finally, I have some eye masks. These are some really nice travel ones. It's fine. These are so essential for when I'm going away for late nights, early morning. And then once you're through security, you can easily just pop this into here and it just looks really neat and tidy and it's all compact and put away. Okay, so now onto the outfits. I was there for two days, two nights, which means two outfits for the day, two outfits for the night. So to start off, this is what I wore traveling. It's this lovely, densely knitted tracksuit set from Zara. And what I really like about it is because it is knit, it feels a bit more smart. You're not in like a full on jogger fit. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I really do want to feel a little bit more put together for this flight, especially as it was just a short haul flight. I think it's only about 45 minutes. I arrived into Paris at around 10 and then went to see Moulin Rouge, which was at 11. So had a really quick turnaround. the dress I wore to Moulin Rouge which is going to be hard to show on camera but I'll do a cutaway try on clip. This is from Amazon The Drop and I love it. Again it's kind of similar to that Zara densely knitted material. Really good quality. The fit as well is such a gorgeous fit and I just feel like it looked really elegant and smart while being dressy and also most importantly it's really warm as well so I didn't even wear a coat which is really nice. And then the heels I paired with that dress. You guys are going to die. If you're on my Instagram you'd have seen these already. These are a new addition to my designer shoe collection. Not that it's very big but I've got a couple now. Um, so we have these stunning stunning YSL heels and I just honestly can't get over them they're so elegant like the strap look how thin it is really simple but then obviously you have the quite striking YSL on the heel so these heels are very surprisingly easy to walk in the only thing I would say is this strap is a killer on your little toe so make sure you have like little tiny compied patches on your toe otherwise you could potentially risk amputation of but yeah i actually got these via larizia which is kind of similar to a farfetch vibe and so give me 25 percent off which is insane i feel like ysl rarely do sales if they do it's in like vista or something um so to get 25 percent off ysl um they also have like balenciaga gani alexander mcqueen they have a couple bags as well so i'll pop my discount code down below it's only valid for a few more days so you don't want to miss out anyway i always pop my design items into their dust bags just to keep them protected <laughs> And then we have my day one outfit, which I think might be my favourite. It was just felt so autumnal and fresh and I felt really comfortable in it. It was this mango blazer, which I showed in a recent haul. And the good thing about this blazer is it's a bit of a blazer coat, so you have that warmth as well. Paired with this simple NAKD um, like turtleneck top, which is really lovely and soft. Again, super cosy and it matches so well with the brown camel blazer. The mango shorts as well, which I actually cannot find for the life of me. I think they must be in the wash or something. But um, I'll pop up pictures for reference so you can see. These shorts are so gorgeous. They're like this really like nice, tailored, trendy autumn winter vibe. And I just love them. And then to finish off the outfit, I had these beautiful H&M boots can't find these online because I did get the half price and they were the last pair in store. I'll just link some similar alternatives down below, but I just think all of this together just made such a nice outfit. That brings us to evening number two outfit, which was this stunning satin emerald Zara shirt. It's the one that I mentioned earlier on in this video. Really rare for me to wear a colour, so I think it's a nice pop of colour in my wardrobe. Um, this will also be so gorgeous, like in the summer with some shorts or something like that. And then I just tucked the shirt into these leather leggings from New Look, and then just added my black Chanel bag as well with the YSL heels. <laughs> My 
day two outfit was centered around these gorgeous shorts from New Look. Um, they have this really Chanel vibe to them and the houndstooth is just gorgeous. And then I paired those with a skin tight top from Naked. Some tights, my Celine belt. And then finally this H&M coat to finish off the look. I actually purchased this in Paris along the Champs-Élysées and I didn't need another black coat but I left my favourite new look one at home and I was gutted and that outfit would not have been completed without a coat for starters and I also would have been really cold. And then the shoes I wore with that outfit are these. Again, these are YSL. So stunning. From La Rizia, again, so you can use my discount code on them. I just think these are such a statement. I love how pointy they are. These are incredibly comfortable as well, which is very surprising considering they are a stiletto heel. Um, and it just made the outfit look so expensive. I have got some dupes for these as well, so I'll link them down below. That was my outfit on the last day, and obviously I really didn't want to travel in tights, shorts, and stiletto boots. So I did actually bring a change of clothes in my Longchamp bag, which are my favourite Zara trousers, and I paired this with the trainers I wore to the airport before. I think I wore my Chanel trainers, which are here so it was a really quick and easy outfit change just into something a little bit more comfortable and travel friendly another very handy thing i took with me are my ghd unplugged these are the cordless straighteners from ghd they have around 20 minutes power but you can also just charge them with like a mac cable they're really useful especially when you're in rainy paris and you need to just do like those quick hair touch-ups on the go so once all of my clothes and shoes and everything are packed i'll then slot in things like underwear and socks just around the edges to fit it all out and yeah that my loves is everything i took with me to Paris which for me is very very reasonable for some people it might be a bit excessive but I think I packed exactly what I needed didn't pack any spare outfits normally I take double what I need but I didn't at all so I'm quite proud of myself for that so I'm gonna wrap this video up here I really hope you guys enjoyed packing with me and trying things on from Zara I always feel like I'm just sitting chatting to my friends when I do these kind of videos so I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so 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 much bye, bye.